Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. We all love to be around water. But we need to learn to be safe around water as well. By the end of this session, you'll understand the water safety rules. You will be able to explain how to be safe near water to other members of your family, and you'll probably start developing your own safety rules and ideas. We're going to start by thinking about what kinds of water are near where you live. You might have thought of a canal, a river, a pond, a lake or reservoir. We all like being near to the water, but many people in this picture are putting themselves at risk by their behaviour. They are unaware of the hidden dangers. You can download this poster from the Canal and River Trust Explorers website to look at later. But let's see if we can spot a few of the hidden dangers now. What hidden dangers could there be at the river? Rivers are natural waterways. They can be fast flowing, deep and have very cold water. You might see signs giving safety advice. What hidden dangers might there be at the canal? Rocks or bricks at the edge of the water could be slippery. And you can't see whether there could be sharp objects underwater. And by the canal, there could be underwater machinery, the kind of machinery for operating locks or letting water out of the canal. Should these children be swimming in the canal? Why isn't it a safe place to swim? Canals, rivers and reservoirs aren't the best place to dive in or swim because even in summer the water can be very cold and take your breath away. Swimming pools have clean, heated water and trained lifeguards. It's also a good idea to remind everyone that you should never go to the canals and rivers alone. If you do fall in and you are on your own, who would be there to help? It's always a good idea to go with a grown-up. I've heard that lots of people fall into water by accident. We need to think about what we would do if this happened. Maybe everyone at home can help us by thinking of some good ideas too. So it would be great if everyone remembers the most important thing to tell your family after this is stay away from the edge. You can use the word safe to help you remember. Stay away from the edge. Chris was fed up. Her mum was at work, so she had to go to her granddad's house for the day. He lived in a small house. There wasn't really room for Chris to play football in the tiny garden. She wanted to be outside playing football or exploring. The canal was an excellent place to explore, but Chris's granddad would never let her go there unless he went too. She slipped round the back of the house, opened the gate and stepped onto the towpath. Chris ran along, kicking the ball from foot to foot. After a while, she stopped to watch a family of ducklings. A duckling had something on its beak. She crouched at the edge of the water and leant forward to get a better look. As she reached forward, she knocked the ball into the water. So she grabbed a stick and reached towards the football. Suddenly, she overbalanced and fell right into the freezing water. Help! she spluttered, gasping for breath. But the canal path was deserted. You can easily stop thinking about where you are when you're having fun, but you can see why it would have been better if Chris's granddad was there. Let's try making a plan about what you could do if you found Chris in the water. I've got some ideas already. Help! Help! Don't worry, I'm going to help you. Try to float in a star shape. I'm going to call 999. Hello, what service do you need? Someone's fallen into the canal. Can you send the fire and rescue service, please? It's near to Starport Road. I can see a road sign. Uh, there's a bridge over the canal with the number 54 on it and there are some big trees here. Ah, help! I don't think I can float anymore. Oh no, I'm going to have to jump in to save her. Oh, the water's really cold. 
Thank goodness, the fire and rescue people are here. Never jump in to save someone. Even if you are a strong swimmer, you can quickly get into trouble, and then two people need to be rescued. While the first bit was really good, calling for help and phoning 999 for the fire and rescue service, trying to get her to float was really helpful too. The water is often really cold, and you're not used to swimming fully clothed. Even if you are a strong swimmer, never jump in to save someone. Learn how to help. Try to get help by shouting help as loudly as you can. Tell them to try to float in a star shape. Phone 999 and ask for help. Use road names, bridge numbers or things that you can see to give your location. Keep calm. Always think before you act. Never jump into the water yourself. So let's just recap on what we've discovered. We talked about looking out for hidden dangers, things like fast flowing or deep water, slippery rocks or sharp things hidden under the water, cold water. You might remember some other things as well. Don't forget to warn your family to stay away from the edge so that they don't fall into the water by accident. It's always a good idea to go with a grown-up and learn how to help. Another thing I found out was never jump in, even though I can swim. And if you do fall in, try to float for as long as you can until someone comes to help. Remember, stay safe. Stay away from the edge. <laughs>